Hello everyone and welcome back to Lawrence Place Factorio Angel Bobs. I think today should be, if I've if I've um, calculated everything correctly, should be a very ex a special episode. So you remember the the uh, last ep last end of the last one? I would, I'd built up this system here for producing the thorium, uh, no plutonium, or thorium as a byproduct because it come, comes from the same ore. Uh, so we were filtering down the um, the thermal water from these pumps, passing it through these filters, and crystallizing it into into the various ores here. And we're getting out thorium, fluorite, and uranium, and occasionally tiny tiny little bits of plutonium up here. Well, I finally left it running for long enough that I got the full 40 I needed from there to pass down to this system here, which is now gener which is generating additional ones using the enrichment process, and that's quite a bit quicker, especially because I put in these two these um speed modules in each of the in in the uh, in the centrifuge i've only got enough for one to run at the moment but be um because i'm impatient i actually went and snatched the uh the first couple that it made out of the out of the machine because i wanted to try and get it uh, first 20 in fact it made out of the machine so what and i brought them down to the rocket launch however while i was waiting i did a little bit more expansion um that's getting getting quite easy now, getting reasonably confident and good at it so i've claimed this area up here in order to get this thermal water um mine up here so I've got this digging, digging it up pumping it into the tanks and up here got plenty of it here, here available now and so I did have a train carrying it constantly from here down to the uranium processing facility over here uh, just running backwards and forwards with it and that worked quite well it, it meant I then had enough for these these filters to run absolutely flat out and filled these tanks back up again a bit as well so that was quite nice I also, again, because I had plenty of time, I expanded down here into this little area as well, and to claim this one. Although that is just that's just been put on the normal network, I think. Um, except I haven't programmed the combinator properly, so it won't actually do anything. Eh, never mind. I've got um, that was mostly just to to spend to waste some time while I was um, waiting for everything else to happen. So. What I've now got is, as you can see, I've now got two rockets. This one has literally just finished while the episode was running, uh, so we've got the two of them ready. I don't think, he, yeah, neither of them are set to auto launch, so we're not. Um, don't need to. No, uh, that's not going to happen all by itself. But I have dumped the um, plutonium I've generated down here on this belt. So as soon as I do that, that's now going to pass it along here down to these radiothermic, um, radio electro, radio electrothermic. Uh, Radio thermoelectric, I knew it was those syllables in some order. These generate generator manufacturers, so these are going to grab them as um, as inserters do. Start building them, and each one, e each. That's <laughs> oh no, that's a fail. Gonna need that right. So these should now make just the right number. If I've counted correctly, which I have to admit I can't guarantee, but if I can count, then this should produce the 20 um, generators that are needed. Pass them up here. Satellite manufacturing assembly machine will grab those, and that should build me the two satellites I need. Um, this is taking slightly longer than I intended. This is supposed to be a sort of look. It's amazing. It's working, but of course it's taking slightly longer. Let's take one of them out, put it in here, and yeah. So I think this should be the sort of the the grand finale of. Call it stage one, shall we? And 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 I thought I might as well try, might as well launch two rockets because, um, well, because making making two rockets is is hardly hardly more difficult than making one. The second one, uh, once you've got all of this stuff being built automatically, it doesn't take very much extra effort to build a second one. Let's put some of those in there as well for the next rocket that we build. <laughs> next rocket. That's a lovely level of confidence, isn't it? There were a couple of minor things I had to sort out to get this working. Uh, one was, it turns out these things are quite big, so you you can't have very many in a, um, in a in a chest. So I needed to tweak the numbers on here. So you see that's at um, a thousand and minus two thousand, whereas normally you have eight thousand and minus twenty. So I've just tweaked those a little bit to make sure the deliveries come through. And we had some issues up with the um, the radar units up here that they weren't they weren't being built because of these um, alien artifacts on. Whoa. Oh no, that's this screwed up somewhere. Why is that full of that? <laughs> what? Why? What? I don't understand. For some reason, this station is filled up with um, rocket control modules. <sighs> I'm going to have to go and clean that up. Anyway, <laughs> these two. And now both ready to launch. So let's try and get those out. Well, I, 
I can't now. I can't. Well, I could take the satellites out. There, there is a way to um, to get the machines to, to get them to launch simultaneously by using um, circuits, but it's too late for that now. I think I'm now ready to just launch these rockets. It's been 220 hours plus a bit more. Um, I've been running. I've been playing this map, so I think after that amount of time of waiting, let's just get them launched. Oh, that's a glorious sound. <laughs> Sounds like victory. One, two. <sighs> right. Well, good. <laughs> that was maybe a slight anticlimax. Um, we've now, of course, got a thousand space science in each of these to deal with, and that can be passed. That that I'm going to need to ship off up to the. Up to the uh, science facilities, way up here. Where is it? Here we go. Up, up here. I'm going to need to add in another another station somewhere to accept that. Um, there is plenty of room left on these belts, so I can fit another four science packs in here, which is a good thing because there's actually quite a bit of stuff left. Um, on top of the the normal uh, five science packs, there's room over here for for a, yet another. Maybe this can be. Hang on, what? Oh, this is the biological weirdness things. Let's not worry about that. Let's put white science in on this one. Then there's the gold science, which is for sort of general uh, weaponry and things like that to go with the uh, alien sciences. And then the alien sciences, of course, which is about six, I think. One for each colour of alien artefacts. So there isn't going to be room for all of that on here. I will probably make another one of these for alien research. But... That means once I get them up there anyway, I can then start on research projects like, where are they? Things like this, these ones down here. Artillery range, that'd be quite useful. Uh, worker robot speed, let's make them even faster. Although there are other ways to do that. I can start, I can uh, make them um, I can make them faster by, uh, by by upgrading them. That might be something I'll, I'll do. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Um, and we can start, okay, so I've done that one. So to get the, um, the space extension stuff, all the way up to faster than light. I'm going to need to do a load of module research, and that's not too difficult, I don't think. I was trying to do these ones. I'm not sure why these haven't worked. Let's have a look at that. So one of the things I did was I ran over and I grabbed some of the module. Oh, that's why they haven't worked. They're not being fed into the research machines. <laughs> that's a pretty. I mean, to be fair, that's quite a good reason for it to not work. I can't really get too upset about that. Um, so I guess I'm going to need to go over and sort that out. Then we can get that research going. But at the moment, I'm just still... On a high is possibly slightly too strong a word, but I'm, I'm, I'm pleased that I've managed to get those rockets launched. And as you can see, it's with all these productivity modules, modules in there um, and a nice steady supply of absolutely everything, the, these actually go up fairly quickly. Uh, this one, except this one doesn't. Why am I? Why are all my belts so polluted? Why are there artillery? Why are there artillery shells of all things on my low-density structures? <sighs> I really don't. I don't know how how this happens. Sometimes, I mean, yeah, sure. Sometimes you you screw up. It's it's ob um, when there's. And this one's got artillery. No, of course it has. It's the same thing. Um, Now I have to get rid of all this somehow. <laughs> right. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I don't really understand quite how I managed to get my um, belts so polluted with random junk that I don't want on them. And these ones, are, I have no idea where those artillery shells came from. There's nothing. There shouldn't be any. There shouldn't be any artillery shells on any of any of the train networks anywhere except in the artillery train. I wonder if I parked an artillery train in here and that's what screwed it up. Ooh, I need to move that locomotive out of the way. Let's put it there for now. Maybe that's maybe that's what happened. And I'm, I'm very, very puzzled as to how I've got... Where is my titanium... Yeah. How this has got filled up with rocket control modules. It's all very weird. And now I've got to go and tidy it up. Oh well. Okay, so that's the rocket launched. I'm feeling generally quite good about all this. Things seem to be going pretty well. 
So as I was saying, I need to get these... Um, if we look at this one, I need to get the gold science pack up and running. I need to get the alien science packs all up and running for all the more advanced um, military stuff. I need to get all these modules done, which at the moment is relatively straightforward. Um, no, I don't want that one. Let's have a look. So at the moment, so the first couple of modules only required the um, the blue circuit, the blue module boards. So that was easy enough. Then we require the um, the module base boards. Now that's fine because I am making those in order to make the modules themselves. So I've got those. I just need to get them shipped out. The same with the module cases actually. So I'll um, I'll set up another train that carries those two over as and when they're required. And it looks like that's me good all the way up to level eight of these things. I wonder how you make a level eight module. <laughs> Polished diamonds. That's it's, uh, interesting. Okay. Polished tip. Oh dear. I don't know where any of these gems come from. That's going to be fun. To, that's going to be fun finding out. That looks manageable. Are the speed logic boards. What? Was that a different? A speed logic boards. Okay, so that's another another thing I'm going to have to work on. Um, but yeah, these all seem. Certainly, the research is manageable, even if making the, making the product is going to be difficult. That'll give me something to play with in the um, before the next episode. Um, so yeah, I mean, I've not I have to admit I've not done an absolutely enormous amount at this stage because a lot of what I've been doing recently was waiting for the nuclear stuff to happen. In hindsight, what I should have done is I should have set up all of this first and then gone and messed around with all of the heat shield tiles and the rocket control modules because those are things that can be massively paralleled. These, you just need to wait for... Well, I've paralleled the inputs, but even so, it's still a massive wait to get enough stuff through. You see, in the whole time I've been talking, we've made one more plutonium there, but the um, this end of it, single machine here has made eight. Eight? Eighteen? Yeah, it must be must be 18 because it needs to go up to 40. So once you've got enough to start running these things, it's much, 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 much quicker. And then as soon as this one's produced an additional 40, I can start a second one running and so on. So now now it's, it's going to be easy. I can just flood the um, flood the flood plutonium out. I can start making atomic bombs, atomic artillery shells, all that sort of awesome fun stuff. It's just getting that first 40 that takes a really, really long time. Okay. So, as I said, my next my next sort of research, I want to start working towards the um, the space exploration stuff. So that means running through the more advanced modules, um, which I'm, I'm I've got most of the stuff I need. So that's okay. I'm I'm happy to start working towards those. And then after that, well, we'll see how it goes. I hope you'll join me for all that. I I mean I've I've finished the base game now. Um, even with the angel bobs added on, but there's so much stuff left to research. I want to, I definitely want to carry on with all of this nonsense down here. Uh, so, I wonder how, how we're doing. Yeah, that looks like, judging by where the um, slider is, I'd say I've done more than half the research by number of things. But there's all of these new research packs to make. I don't think the alien science packs are too difficult to make. I think they're mostly just based on um, alien artifacts. So I'm not too worried about that. It's just it's just something else to have a look at. And I think that's that and the modules are probably going to be my next push. So I hope you'll join me in the next episode where I'll talk about that some more and show you how I've, I've got it built up. At least I've now got plenty of space to work out to get move out into and do all of this stuff. So I'm not I'm not particularly sure to that. And judging and if you look at the ground in the areas I've liberated yes there's a there's a huge number of um, of the alien artifacts around so I shouldn't have too much too many problems with those and I do also have a silo down here there we go this this green one here that as you can see has over a thousand of each of them in it plus a load of the small ones that can be turned into big ones at a, a rate I forget let's let's check is it 10 to 1 um, Twenty-five to one. Okay, so the fact that there's another eleven, ten, roughly ten, well, ten thousand of the ten between ten, two, what two and ten, two and eleven thousand of them basically means I'll be able to make quite a lot more as well. So I think I think I should be all right with this. Um, although I don't like it, having it there, I think I'm going to have to get that get that moved, and that's going to be an enormous job for the bots. Uh, or I could rip all this up and start doing alien science production down here because none of this sh well 
all of this should be being done somewhere else. It's not, but it should be. So that's another task as well. Whew. It, the list keeps getting longer. Okay, well, I'm going to go away and get on with that. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll join me for the next episode. Uh, when there's, Even though I've finished the game technically, there's still plenty more to do. <laughs> I'll see you then.